forbidden oh, books. You're interested in what's cabinet. inside? Forbidden books, written by the devil himself. Forget about it. Lord in heaven. Ha! Ah, this looks like the Saracen language. Ib al Hasan. That's who I'm looking for. Avicenna. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Here's the book you wanted. Amazing. This really is it. Now I can use it to prepare a cure for our suffering abbot. Then I'll leave it in the library to make it seem as if Brother Librarian left it lying about. There'll be no investigation. It would be against his best interests, as he'll look like the one who wasn't taking proper care of the books. It will drive him mad. I didn't leave that book out, or did I? <laughs> is there anything I can do for you in return? I'd be interested in finding out the ba well, That's a strange wish you have. And the only ones who know it, they keep a record of every monk in the abbot's book. But you'll never get your hands on it. It's locked up in the prior's study. Thanks. No, thank you. About that book. Don't even think about breaking... I'm looking for luck. I'd like... Well, so you heard I used to... I'll trade them for... Have we here? That's it. The book with information about the novices. There's something I should tell you. Something you won't be happy to hear. I'm here to find someone and, um, well, to do away with him. But listen, it's not murder. Not when it's a man like him. He's one of the brigands who burned down Neuhof. He doesn't deserve to live. What's he doing here? And who are you? They call him Pius because he used to be a priest. When he found out a lot of people were after him, he hid away here. And as you can see, escaped suspicion. They sent me here to find him and bring him to justice. He's one of the novices. So we have one outlaw and one assassin in our midst. This place is a lot more exciting than I expected. Do you know who it is? Well, that's just it. Terrible. It could be you. What on earth makes you think that? My being un... True enough. No, but I hope I'll track him down. I swear I don't know anything. I suspect Luke... He certainly says little enough, and he keeps himself... I suspect it could be Yodo. Do you know that occurred to me too? Yodo... It could be Antonius. Antonius? He's... See how hard it is? It could be anyone, and at the same time, nobody in particular. I won't tell you more. You're talking about killing in the monastery. 
Listen to me, you worthless shit. I thought better of you, Gregor. Remember, the mills... What would you like? I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Someone whose job it is to investigate the case, find the perpetrators and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Punishment? Do you intend to punish them here, in the monastery? I don't know yet. I'm still just on their trail. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. And all the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices. But still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. <sighs> Maybe you're right. It's not a pretty thought. Don't fret, my friend. I heard you've been mi- What's it to you? I want you to put an end to it and treat him like you should. Like a brother. Well, well. You've really grown a pair of angel's wings. You'd better be careful. Wings can get clipped. A few days rotting in solitary might remind you who's who around here. I couldn't care less who's around here. All I know is, there's me, a young man in his prime, and there's you, a decrepit old geezer who's about to get his face smashed in. Come now, brother. There's no need for such angry words. Nothing serious happened. We had a bit of a brotherly disagreement with Lucas, but that's water under the bridge. Please tell him everything's been forgiven and he's got nothing to fear from us. Satisfied? Thanks. I'm always glad when people can come to a civil agreement. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit. Or out of it. <laughs> I'll decide for myself who I do and don't talk to. And what is it? I saw you drinking and playing dice in the cellars at night. So, your eyes are working. Would you like to join us next time? I'm inclined to report it to the prior. Who do you think you are, laddie? I've been in this monastery for ten years, and I... I'll go and see him anyway. This is no way for a monk to behave. My boy, do that and your life will become a living hell, I swear. Ask Brother Lucas how he likes having us for enemies. And ask Yodok about the benefits. I won't be intimidated. This has to stop. I think from now on you'll be starting to feel very much at... What more do you want here? Get out. I spoke to the cicadas about how they've been treating you. Really? Did you manage to convince them to leave me alone? I turned the screws on them. They'll leave you alone now. You've done it? You've stood up to the cicadas. You've earned my admiration and my thanks. Because now I know I can trust you, there's something I want to tell you. It's about Brother Antonius. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words, but... This is something I'm sure of. 
Novus Antonius is lying to us. What makes you say that? He claims he's a merchant's son from Vlashem, and that he joined the order voluntarily. The thing is, I spent a great deal of time in Vlashem. I know it like the back of my hand. And no one even remotely like Antonius has ever lived there. Are you sure? Because this could mean that... It's true, or Canute isn't my name. That would be my secular name, by the way, but that's not important. I know Vlashem, and I know the local merchants there, and I've never seen Antonius among them. Why would he be lying if he had nothing to hide? Thank you for telling me. I'll look into it. Praise be to Christ, brother. I've heard you're from Vlashim. Yes, why do you ask? And more importantly, where did you hear it? Since I'm quite sure I've never told you. Honestly, the monks like to gossip more than old wives at the market. Because I've heard otherwise. You aren't from Vlashim. You made it all up. And who told you that? Whoever it was, he's a liar. It's complete nonsense. I've heard you're from Vlashim. Yes, why do you ask? I've read the abbot's book. It's got why? Why would you do that? doesn't matter. What matters is the abbot doesn't believe your little fairy tale either. What's so implausible about it? I've always been more interested in books, so I left my brother the shop and came here to live a good life. You see, I'm looking for someone in the monastery. Someone who's lied about who he is. And you fit that description perfectly. But I told you, I've never lied to anyone. That's funny. I think you're lying to me right now. Do you think you're entitled to met out justice? Who gave you the right? I'm sorry, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you, Gregor. You're a lunatic, and the prior ought to be warned about you. If you so much as open your mouth about this... Then what? You... What would you like? I've heard you're... Yes, why do you are? I know you're pious. The man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it and go our own way. I, I was a bandit. And I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen. But I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit. But I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over. But then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. What if I wanted a different option? You could kill another novice, I suppose. If news of the murder got out from the monastery, my former friends might believe I'm dead. But I'm offering you a solution that doesn't require any killing. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. I don't agree. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought we could come to an ag Ah! <laughs> 
Amongst what no Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit-chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I left it where it was. So, they lose a monk and find a corpse. How long do you reckon it'll take them to put two and two together? Well, it's not like I was planning to make a career in Rome. Hmm. Fair enough. Soon it won't matter anyway. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just the crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasso. And on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. An assassin, eh? The old woman sets a fucking assassin on.
couple of God save you, Henry. God bless you. What troubles you? Farewell. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another, much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. <laughs> <laughs> 